All right, guys, in this lesson, we're going to be talking with Dr. Greg and going over the estimate. So in the previous uh, video, we went over and did the discovery phase where we learn more about the, the project and what we're planning to do. And now what we're going to do is I'm, he hasn't seen this yet. So uh, we did do a pre-call before this video just to make sure we're on the same page. But he hasn't actually seen the estimate that we prepared for him. And I'm going to show him that now. And I'm going to walk through the process of what I would do with any client instead of just throwing him the estimate and hoping he figures it out and hoping he sees all the different details that we've pulled out. I'm actually going to step through and, and guide him through why we're presenting these as options and what we suggest at the end of the call. So the, the distinction here is that it's so easy to draft an email and send it, but you know that your clients are getting, you know, hundred different emails and they've got a lot of different things, especially if they're entrepreneurs, they've got a lot of other decisions to do and they're looking for you to be the expert and, and actually tell them what to do is what they're looking for usually. So I don't want to confuse the issue. I do want to give him the options for choice. I like to show three options in this case. Shopify is so straightforward and I know we're trying to get going on the project quickly. I only showed two basic options and from there we can adjust. Right now this is just the estimate. Once he chooses what he wants to do, I'll get back with him with a, an official uh, contract that he'll sign, he'll send the deposit and we'll be off and running. So, Dr. Gray, how's it going, man? I'm good and I wanna to touch on that because I'm a type A driver, business owner. If you would just email me that contract, I will scroll to the bottom as fast as I possibly can so I can see the price yep. and then I'll piss and moan about the price or be mad about the price. <laughs> and then I'll choose the cheapest one probably. And then I'll get frustrated why you didn't do what I, what I wanted you to do for the project. So having this conversation is really important because it's about expectations and it's about understanding what a person wants done, what they don't want done. And um, so this is a really key part of this conversation and don't, so this, hopefully if this speaks to your, your people, don't feel bad that to know your value and don't feel bad to give prices of things. And, but also understand, understand the difference between like how many more hours is option one going to take me than option two? What are the costs for them? Do you know Shopify well enough to know that if we put it into a, whatever, like a premium theme or something that I'm going to have some hard costs up front, I'm going to have some monthly costs. That's all stuff that would be, that, that tells me that you really did some research and you know what we're going into. So other than that, I'm doing great. We're excited about just getting stuff moving forward uh, with this and stoked to be on the call. Cool, man. I am curious, uh, have you ever experienced this type of thing with anybody else you've worked with as far as them walking you through it or you, do they usually just lob a PDF out to you and you just get going? I think I, I think I, and you know, I think you know me well enough. I think I kind of intimidate some people. I'm just like, just send, just send it to me so I can go through it. And and uh, because I don't, I don't always care for this part because yeah. it's like, ugh, you know, yeah. is is this necessary? Do I need to spend this much money? Is this a good investment? Should I be able to do this myself? I mean, I have all these questions that go through an entrepreneur's mind. Um, so I've had both both options. I mean, everything from, you know, um, house plans. I'm hiring a builder to developing websites to, uh, you know, back in the day when. Um, so for those, so for those in the, in the states, they have these things called phone books that people used to use, and I'm old enough to have, have it put ads in phone, phone books, books and have what? the ad uh, <laughs> salesperson present to me different options. How old are you right now? Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, so I'm I'm old enough to have taken out full page, dual full page ads in oh, yellow man. pages Big when they were when they were useful. So yeah. there you go. Yeah. All right. So and one thing I want to point out too, you mentioned this before our call we were talking about the sales process and you guys kind of peeling back the curtain for my students. I'm, I'm, I'm now selling myself and my services. And, 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 and I mean that in, in like the hypothetical way, not like I'm also going to be selling my services, but I'm also like trying to get him to follow through. Like we think we like each other. We think we like what we're doing. We think we're a good fit, but now we're starting to get traction with the pro, uh, traction with the progress uh, project. So mm -hmm. this becomes critical. So you get to this stage and then you just throw an email. Well, you, I can't tell what parts of it he likes or doesn't like if there's any confusion. So the next best, best thing, so think, think of it like if you're texting somebody, you throw a text out there and they reply. Well, is there a smile, smiley emoji with that? Or is it a frown face? Like what, you know, what do they think? And there, you can't hear any voice. Okay. So a call is the next best thing. I can hear the inflection, the tone in their voice. I can tell if they're angry or happy or whatever. Well, next best is in this case, a video call where I can see him. I can read his, uh, 
his demeanor and, and his, his uh, mannerisms. Is that the right word? Just, I can, I can read his body language and I can tell if he's got confusion, if he's put off by something and we can linger a little bit further on one section once we get into this to know how I can address those questions or concerns as we go through it. And then of course, next best after that is actually in person at a coffee shop or something, which really, I feel like this is honestly just about as good. So uh, that being said, let's go ahead and dive in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and share with you, maybe, I can't see my mouse on my screen. That's neat. Okay. <laughs> We're going to give this a try, guys. Technology. All right. So uh, I'm going to share this document and it there looks, oh, it looks, okay. So for the sake of the recording and the call, I have no idea. I've got, all right. Give me a second, guys. All right. Um, so you can see the estimate right now. You know what I should have done? So now he's reading. He's already looking at prices. I see 180. I see 850. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get me back to Zoom. I, I suck at this. Okay. Uh, pause. No, resume share. I want to go back to... I'm going to hit stop share. I want to see this for the sake of the call. Okay. Hi, everybody. Uh, so... <laughs> I'm trying to get it for the recording side of things. So it's captured right, but I also want him to be able to see as we walk through. So uh, sorry for the uh, technological ignorance on my end here. All right, we'll try it again. So I hit share. So I can't tell. Are you seeing me scroll as I scroll? Yes. All right. I see your mouse. Good enough. Good enough. My main mouse is disconnected and now it's my trackpad, but whatever. All right. Uh, and so you guys can see that I'm not perfect. Obviously, I, I really hope I know you knew that. But when you're presenting with your clients, just be human. Just, you know, have a good time. And I know sometimes when you talk about money, people get uptight. But just, you know, be yourself as much as you can. So uh, nice little intro paragraph that I'm not going to read to you. But I do want to honestly, though, I do want to say thanks, you know, for the opportunity to work with you again. Uh, really excited about this project. So options and price points. All right. So like I said, with Shopify, they do so much for you. So most of our web design things done on WordPress typically start between like two to $5,000 and go up to as much as $10,000 for our web projects. Shopify is so straightforward that I, I, there's a lot of things that I, I could cut out like hosting fees and set up and things. So that's why it's, you know, it's under a thousand dollars, which is, is pretty, pretty great. Um, and so what I, the first option is, is geared towards just getting you up and running with a site that you love, which gives us a lot of headroom to grow and improve, but also keeping the costs as minimal as possible. One phase I didn't even present here would be more like a splash page option where we just turn it on and, and, and roll with it, but I know you need more than that, so I didn't even present that as an option. Uh, so basically, you know, 850 is what I'm thinking for this, and that would not include a custom theme the most expensive one I saw on their platform was like 180 bucks. I did find a couple that were free that I think would meet the need just fine. So we can review that in detail and see once we you know, continue down this path. But that's okay. that's the top end of, of what that surprise would be. And we're going to be implementing your brand. So we did the logo, but we didn't explore colors. We didn't explore fonts or photos or any of that or how that works together as a cohesive brand. So some of this additional cost, you know, for those of you who look at Shopify, it is very basic. Like Dr. Greg, you could, you could jump in there and I have full confidence in your ability to like throw in some photos, throw in some text and, and you'd be off and running. So part of this service that we're providing is actually fleshing out that brand, dropping in your logo, Photoshopping some Im images, not just like throwing stuff in, but actually making it all feel cohesive and high end. And so we're going to be going uh, with a one page home homepage design. I'll give you a couple rounds of revisions if you know we need to dial some things in. But basically, we're doing a custom homepage. So that's your first your first impression when people land on your website. So that's where we're going to spend a fair amount of time, you know, making sure that's right. And then we're going to set up three, up to three static pages. So with text you'll provide, that could be an about or a contact or a history or a services page or, you know, just basically there's nothing really dynamic here. It's not a product page. It's just, it's just think of it like a page in a brochure, right? We're going to set up up to three products for you. So that's taking your product image, your product information, your pricing, setting up the product engine of your site. So that way people can actually add it to cart and select the images. And if you've got a gallery, let's say you've got a product with three or four different images, we can add those in there so they can you know, see the different images of the product. And then with uh, Shopify, they actually have unlimited stock images. So 
if we want to add more embellishments on the site or, or make it much more uh, pretty to look at, I guess you could say, there's a lot of stock images in there. One thing I didn't include in here, uh, we do have access to a stock library that's got a lot more than most. And so if we needed to, we could purchase stock images to add to that, but we can cross that bridge when we get there, whether that makes sense or not. Sure. Uh, and then as far as time for completion, it's, I think we'll have no problem as long as you have your content ready for some of the static pages and stuff, which I think you do. I would say one week from when we receive the deposit. So once we actually kick off the project, it'd be about a week to where you're like, you're done, you're up and running and everything's looking good. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. And then the second option, a little bit more, it's, it's almost double. And really the biggest difference is, is more static pages a lot more time invested in actually designing and really crafting a custom experience for the people. We're still using a base theme as the foundation, but we're spending a lot more design time in Photoshop, you know, making things look real good uh, and then uploading those into the placeholders in the theme. We also have, like I said, more static pages up to 10 products. If you want to add more products, I can do the grunt work and drop all those in for you. And then this is one thing that you talked about that was important was doing a, like a vlog page. You're doing videos. We're not really going to do a blog, but we would use the blog functionality of Shopify and we'll paste in links from your videos that are on Vimeo and then do the transcript. So it pastes in line with that. And then again, unlimited stock images. So that's, I mean, those are really the two based on what you talked about. Like I didn't really feel the need to add more to this. And you know, after you see my approach, maybe you're telling me like, Hey, I can add in the static pages or, you know, I don't have any products yet or whatever, you know, we, that could be, this could be a phase one scenario where we get it up and running. And then phase two could be diving further into that. And then as far as updates, $125 an hour is our hourly rate, which, you know, no contract, just give me a call. We can just dive in and that's what I bill per hour. Or if you wanted to do more of a retainer scenario where you just know that you've blocked out time with me every month, that's a significant, uh, significantly discounted rate at 85 per hour. If we do a five hour chunk, 75 per hour if you do 10 hours or then 65 an hour if you do 15. So you see the cost there just as far as like locking out my time, knowing that when you need something, I'll get right back to you. Cause I've got that slated in our calendar. So that's pretty much it for the estimate, uh, billing. We usually do 30% up front to kick off the project and another 30% once we get to our halfway point in the project. And then once we deliver it, the remaining 40% is due. If you want to, I mean, you want to pay me more upfront, that's great too. Just do a couple checks. Sometimes it's easier for some clients. So that is my estimate, guys. That's pretty much everything. I'm going to sit back for a second and just kind of see what Dr. Greg thinks and see if I'm even close to what he was expecting. And then from there, I can get him, you know, the next round, which would be the actual contract based on his feedback. So I'm going to uh, stop the share here so we can cool. talk. It cool. actually seems really reasonable just because I mean, we've had some pretty sizable WordPress sites put together over the years and, and obviously there are a lot more work with a lot more plugins. So it's, it's, uh, did you know, cause one of the things that, that I'm just curious about is like, um, the ability to put in like, uh, someone wants to do like a pre consultation call with me or even the ability of them to schedule a call. Are those things that can be put into Shopify? Did you kind of factor the, so... the work to get that done? Uh, to be totally honest, there are lots of ways we can do that. I didn't see one within Shopify, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I'm pretty new to that platform, but I do know I've in the past used, I think it was called Calendly is one of them. And the other one was, oh. um, there's one other one. So basically what we do is we'd embed that. So you'd have another account with them specifically. You'd probably end up paying depending on what the options you want. I'm trying to remember the one that I use. Yeah, I've I'll used, do. I, I used one with my last website where yeah. It was great. I could put in my availability. Yeah, I could exactly. put in, you know, length of calls. Um, I have the same pretty, thing. And for whatever like, reason, I'm drawing a blank on the name of it. But yeah. And then depending on your price point of what you subscribe to that service, you can have them send automatic text message reminders. So if you've scheduled the call, you have more likely people will show up because they get a text 10 minutes before saying, hey, don't forget about your call, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I don't know if Shopify has a built-in engine for that, but as far as adding it later or immediately, like we can definitely cook that in right away. So the way it would work, we'll use one of those services. They'll give us an embed code and we'll just copy and paste it right into a page. So that'd be like one of your static pages. It could be a schedule um, or a consultation page. And then yep. that yep. will, and then you can so log in there. And, that, I think yeah. we're, yeah. and I know that we can do the login for the store because one of the companies I work with, as we mentioned, we can't 
uh, display pricing. Oh, right. Um, and I think my wife and I talked yesterday about, I think initially, and this might be crazy for us to think, but I think we're initially going to going to warehouse distribution center out of our house until we get to a certain point where we're like, this is just more than we want to deal with. Yeah. And then, then I'll just go to a distribution center and yeah. we'll, we'll stock the distribution center and let them do the shipping. So, and um, so that reminds me of one other thing that is not priced out on this yet. And that is because we didn't get to it in your discovery phase. And that was my fault, but <clears throat> the actual shipping settings and configuring your store. So for example, are you using Stripe or using PayPal? I mean, how are we collecting the funds and syncing that up, <coughs> excuse me, syncing that up with uh, Shopify? So I know that looking at their documentation, it's pretty straightforward. I'm assuming you could just take a crack at that, drop in your stuff and you're off and running, but is that something you want me to kind of... No, I've, I'm familiar enough and I've, I've done both Stripe and PayPal and I'll probably yeah. just go PayPal to start yeah. on this and then I'll, then I'll shop some competitiveness of, of rates. Yeah. But um, I'll, I'll be curious too that do I like, and this is not a question for you, but like just with Stripe, do I pay Stripe a fee plus do I pay Ooh, good PayPal question. a fee? I just want to be mindful of yeah. how much I'm giving to the machine yeah. to make this thing happen. And then I think yeah. I also looked at there's different levels. There's like a $29 and a $79 yep. per month. And I don't know that I need anything really fancy with lots of reports. So I'm pretty sure that I can probably get by with like the $29 yeah. a month uh, store. And it option. seemed like, so you get a 14 day trial at the moment of this recording, they say. So it seemed like then you roll over into the next paid version and you can upgrade at any point and get the extra creature features like the reporting you mentioned and things like that. So okay. as long as it does and you're confident, cause I, this, that's not something I've had to address yet, but you said you've got a friend who's doing something similar, who knows that the prices can be hidden until they're logged in as a user. So as long as you're confident that Shopify can do that, cause I've never had to do that before, then we'll be in good shape. Yeah. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. And his, I did ask him, he said he's built on Shopify. So cool. Yeah, so I guess so. At this point, I just need to. Um, I'll get that email from you with these numbers, and I'll sit down with my wife. And I'm pretty sure that we're going to lean towards a little bit more robust build. But I just want to clarify yeah. that with my wife, as uh, that's how you do business when you're yeah. with your with yeah. your in business. And uh, and then and then so on the next call, then is that so? So I guess it's really at this point, it's we tell you which one we want to do, and then you're going to send me a contract, and then I'll get you thirty percent down. Yeah. And then, and then what will you need from me to get that next phase going? Cause I mean, we've done the logo, but we really haven't done colors and stuff. Is yeah. that like, how do we, what, what's the next step for us? Yeah, for uh, sure. The deposit. So if you haven't already, and I know you've got that site that you've been looking at as a kind of a springboard for you. Yeah. I, if you haven't already, you know, work with whatever you're comfortable with. I know you've been sending me pages documents. That's great for me too. So if you just want to, you know, basically craft your website, but in pages as far as text, or at least get me close, we can work together on your marketing strategy and some ideas on what actually goes in there. I know in, in the last course, the logo design course, we talked about how you're part of a mastermind group where you might get some feedback from them as far as what content you actually drop in there. Cause I can make the pretty site in the world, but if you're, if your calls to action aren't right, it's not going to work for you. So back to the discovery call, when I asked you, if this is a success, what would you define it? Like, what would you define this project as success? And so the content is a huge part in that in, in, are we speaking to the right audience? Are we showing the right calls to action? So you're definitely going to want to spend some time because you know your market better than I do. So we're going to be leaning on you heavily for that. Uh, my In this specific phase, this specific project, I'm trying to get you into the marketplace. I'm trying to lob the site up online so it works. As a web design project, what's awesome is you can change it every minute if you wanted to. We could log in and change it every hour. So we're trying to get us up, this get this scope of work completed, give it some time to evaluate. Is it working? Do we need to refine some things? Do we want to add some things? And then we can always, you know, roll back into that retainer option we talked about, or I can do yep. another estimate for another scope of work. Once we kind of see, you know, if this is working how you expected it to, uh, as far as next step for you. Yeah. Talk with Rachel, figure out what, what, you know, what ballpark you want to be in for this. I can add in as far as the calendar, Calendly or the, I'm kicking myself. I can't remember the other one. Um, I, lots of as soon as I get the phone, I can look it up and look, but yeah, I would say for that, I can, I can either get you details or that can just, I can honestly just add that in. It's no big deal. It's just literally it's a link to get that working. If you want to set that up, if not, again, we can step in and help. Um, 
next steps would be we discover what you want. I'll send you the, or, you know, you tell me what you want for the estimate. I'll send you the contract. And then as soon as we get that back, we go. So we'll set up your account with Shopify. I would, I mean, not that it matters cause you're going to be paying for it, but you know, uh, if you're for my students, if you're diving in with the client, maybe wait to set that up until you know you're going because you've got that countdown timer starting for two weeks to try it out. So you don't want to start an account, but then not have it ready to go yet. And then if they're ready in three weeks, well, now they got to pay for it immediately and you haven't even done anything yet and they don't know if they like it. So we'll wait to, to fire that up until we know we're, we're rolling. And I got to do more research on that because usually with WordPress and other stuff, we'll use our own account. We'll set it up and then we'll hand off usernames and passwords to you. In this case, just so there's no gray lines. And again, I don't know how Shopify works on that side of things. I might have you set up the account with your own email, your own passwords, and then you can just email me the login information. And then that way you have the keys to your kingdom all throughout the process process. So I'm a, I'm a huge fan of, I know a lot of web developers like to charge extra for hosting and have everything kind of, you know, self-contained and self-controlled. And in my experience, at some point along the way, one of you will probably outgrow the other person. Whether I get too busy, I can't help you anymore, or you need bigger things than what I'm able to do. So rather than, you know, making it kind of a messy marriage at the end of things, I like you just being able to be, you know, have all the control. And I don't ever want, like you called it a, what'd you call it? A, um block in the funnel. I forget what you called it. Um, I call it a spe- uh, What was that? Bottleneck. Bottleneck. That's the one. I call it a, yeah. uh, a speed bump. I don't want to be a speed bump in your process or a bottleneck. Yeah. So that's why I like to do that. So we'll probably, once we get this all going, you'll, you'll log in, set it up and then just fire off the information to me. So that's Perfect. pretty much it. So once I jump off the call, I'll email you that you can check it out. And then, um, you know, try and let me know by tomorrow or as soon as you know, and we'll, we'll, we'll figure out next steps from there. Do you have any other questions or thoughts before we, uh, jump off? I think, so. I think yeah, I think I've, you've got a bunch of my photos. We'll get the, the, I'll just agree with Rach with what the best option is. And then, and then, yeah, then we kind of jump into this build and get stuff going. So I think we're pretty, pretty good. Awesome, man. Thanks. And then uh, for your students, if you have any questions, just uh, hit me up below in the comments. There will also be this estimate you can download as a resource for yourself as well. So thanks for watching. And in the next video, we will be kicking off the project with his contract.